Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The ancient city of Mitla in Mesoamerica is shrouded in mystery, with ancient and colonial sources saying there is an extensive underground labyrinth of caves and tunnels below ground, considered by the ancient Zapotec culture to be the physical entrance into the underworld. And now, a new research project has been set up to reveal the secrets of Mitla once and for all, with researchers planning to use the latest geophysical equipment to see what is truly hidden below ground, and to try and find the lost entrance to the underworld. Watch this video to see how you can help the project, and why it's so important to history. The archaeological site of Mitla is one of the best preserved in all of Mexico. It's located in the central valley of Oaxaca, and the city reached its peak in the post-classic period around 1200 AD, but was already an important centre between 100 and 650 AD. The city's incredible architecture uses many megalithic stone blocks with beautiful mosaic decoration, some of which mimics the style of textiles. Some of the huge stone lintels are 6 metres or 20 feet long, each weighing more than 30 tonnes. There are 5 metre high columns of stone, and these were used to support the palace roofs. It's a site that doesn't often get discussed on YouTube, but it really should be on our radar. As well as the architecture, the walls were also painted in what archaeologists call the Codex style, due to its similarities to Mixtec codices and manuscripts. So that's a very brief look at what's above ground, the incredible well-preserved remains of an important city of ancient Mesoamerica, and there is a fantastic history I could go into, but what's below ground? There are already some well-known, beautifully decorated subterranean chambers below the palaces of Mitla, thought to be the tombs of priests and kings. These have a cruciform plan, with each chamber dug out of the bedrock before being lined with enormous blocks of stone. But these chambers could well be the tip of the iceberg, and the reason for Mittler's great importance in historic times seems to be because of a vast cave system below the city. As stated, the Zapotecs believed it was the physical entrance into the underworld, a place they called Leobar. These caves are described by the Spanish in the 16th and 17th centuries, how there were passages and chambers running in all directions, like streets and hallways and supported by large columns. The Dominican father Francisco de Bagoa wrote the most complete account in the 17th century. Here is a short and condensed segment of what he wrote. There were people anxious for knowledge who went into this cave bearing lighted torches and firebrands, and descended several large steps, and they soon came upon many great buttresses which formed a kind of street. They had prudently brought a quantity of rope with them to use as guiding lines, that they might not lose themselves in this confusing labyrinth and the putrefaction and bad odour and the dampness of the earth was very, very great, and there was also a cold wind which blew out their torches. And after they had gone a short distance, fearing to be overpowered by the stench, or to step on poisonous reptiles, of which some had been seen, they resolved to go out again, and to completely wall up this back door of hell. We have no reason to doubt the integrity of this account, and it is said that the entrance to the underground labyrinth was sealed when a church was erected on the site, and this church was built using stone from the ancient ruins. Many archaeologists in the 19th and 20th centuries have tried to find the entrance to the labyrinth without luck. And although these searches did lead to the finding of monumental tombs, large parts of Mitla have not been explored either by physical or geophysical methods. The Arx Project are hoping to change that, and led by friends of the channel, the Arx Project President Marco Vigato and the Secretary Ludovic Sell, in partnership with the Mexican Institute of History and Anthropology and the National Autonomous University of Mexico, Project Leobar has the green light, 
but now funding is required to get the project off the ground. The project requires around $15,000 and so the ARCS Association have set up a crowdfunding initiative and are asking for support if anyone can and wants to be part of an incredible historical discovery. Three geophysical techniques are set to be used, including ground penetrating radar, electrical resistivity tomography, and seismic noise refraction tomography, and this will help them to see exactly what lies below the ground without the need for potentially destructive excavation. I've left all of the relevant links in the description below, and I do have to say, this is a truly worthwhile project. I'll now hand you over to Marco Vigato to explain the project in more detail, but if you can, please do consider supporting this cause, which could lead to one of the greatest historical discoveries of the modern era. The archaeological site of Mitla, in the central valley of Oaxaca, was one of the most important centers of the ancient Zapotec civilization. During pre-Hispanic times, Mitla was home to an estimated population of more than 10,000 and contained numerous palaces and ceremonial structures, whose ruins we can still admire today. Mitla, or Lioba, as it was known in the ancient Zapotec language, was for centuries the seat of an important cult center tied to the concept of the underworld and the cult of the dead. Ancient sources describe vast subterranean chambers, housing the tombs of priests and kings, communicating with the great underground labyrinth, possibly a natural cavern, believed to be a physical entrance to the Zapotec underworld of the Yoba, the Aztec Mictlan. A partnership between the Mexican National Institute of History and Anthropology, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, and the ARCS Association for Archaeological Research and Exploration is now attempting to reveal the secrets of this ancient site, employing state-of-the-art geophysical equipment that will allow to quite literally see below the surface of this important archaeological site. The study also aims to gather vital data about the geology and stratigraphy of the site, in order to help conservation efforts and risk management in one of the most seismically active regions of Mexico. My name is Leobardo Daniel Pacheco Arias, I'm an archaeologist of the Instituto Nacional de Anthropology and History in Oaxaca. As responsible of the archaeological area of Mitla, one of the tasks substantive de esta zona es precisamente el conocimiento, la investigación, la conservación y la protección del patrimonio cultural arqueológico de San Pablo Villa de Mitla. La región de Oaxaca es una región altamente sísmica. Derivado de ello, el patrimonio cultural se ve en riesgo ante estos fenómenos. Es así que el conocimiento puntual del comportamiento del subsuelo ante estos fenómenos una lectura y una caracterización de dónde se desplanta la zona arqueológica con posibles anomalías, cavidades, densidad, etc. será importante para plantear en un futuro próximo proyectos que permitan la conservación y la prevención de estos riesgos eh, derivados de fenómenos, sobre todo sísmicos. En este sentido, el proyecto que plantea eh, investigadores de la UNAM, de Lina, en colaboración y coordinación con la Asociación Civil ARX Project, busca precisamente eh, un proyecto novedoso, nuevo, donde se aplican las nuevas tecnologías para el conocimiento del subsuelo de Mitla. Estas tecnologías tienen una gran ventaja de que no son destructivas y que nos permiten generar toda una lectura muy amplia de este eh, comportamiento geológico. The methodologies employed are entirely non-invasive, and they have been already successfully implemented at other important archaeological sites, such as Chichen Itza and Teotihuacan. For this project, a combination of different geophysical methods will be used, including ground penetrating radar, electrical resistivity tomography, and seismic noise. The project will be conducting the utmost respect of the site and its importance for the modern Zapotec people, and with the participation of the local community, and the hope that this will help drive more visitors to the site and the town of Mitla, whose economy largely depends on tourism and traditional handicraft.
In 2022, the Arts Association decided to launch a fundraising campaign to raise at least $10,000 among the public in support of the research project and conservation efforts at the site of Mitla. We now need your help to reach this ambitious goal. The amount raised will go to funding the first phase of the geophysical study of Mitla, involving the Church Group and the Columns Group, which was authorized by the Mexican National Institute of History and Anthropology in January of 2022. In a later phase, the research area will be extended to include some of the other monumental groups and parts of the site of Mitla. Donors will receive constant updates on the project through the Arts Association website and social media as well as access to exclusive content such as videos, 3D models and interviews. With each donation, you will be contributing to uncovering some of the secrets of one of the most important archaeological sites in all of Mesoamerica, as well as helping to protect the site for the benefit of future generations. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.